everyone and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day and I promise you on today's show we're going to hit everything, aren't we? Absolutely we are. We've got for sale, we have for lease, we have commercial, we have residential, we've got it all. Right, and we will end more on the commercial side so let's mm -hmm. go ahead and begin with a great home right here in Pike County. That is true. It is a house that we have talked about before, mm -hmm. but like when there's a change, this one's been reduced. We like to do them again. So uh, this one is off Riggs Road, which is in the Raccoon area. And one thing back to this recently reduced, I would say a lot of times you've got someone who is just really wanting this home, but the price was just out of reach. So sometimes it's great to be able to come back and say, no, this one's been reduced. And this was about a $10,000 reduction. So this is a large reduction. Definitely puts it in another price range for some people. And we hope those people will call to go ahead and set up a showing on it. And I love the pictures that you chose on this mm -hmm. because it shows how spacious this is. I mean, one picture shows the two-car garage and the other one is showing this living room with this huge tall ceiling. Exactly. This one has, it's a very traditional style home, but it has a lot of contemporary details, a very open floor plan mm -hmm. for the bottom floor. Like you said, the living room has the cathedral ceilings open to the second floor. It's a lot of wood detailing. The kitchen's right off of that. It's a really, really nice layout. Anytime you've got a big spacious deck, I mean, you don't add it to the square footage, but you spend just as much time out there as you do any other room inside your home. Exactly, and this one has the deck. Something else, the front picture that I picked doesn't really show off the front porch as much as I would like it to, but this one has a really nice front porch that again is fairly private. Mm -hmm. You could sit out there just like you could on your deck. And we talked, we touched on the location and we said it was off grassy, but this is up Raccoon Creek. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just off of the 119 four lane. Yeah, it takes about 10 minutes from town to get mm -hmm. out to this one. You will go up Raccoon, like you said, you take the left off of Grassy, which there is a sign there, so it's fairly easy to find. And then Riggs Road is about a mile, a mile and a half up there on your left. Great place to raise kids, great place to have them running outside, riding their bicycles, that kind of stuff. Well, hopefully we have just piqued a lot of interest on that. A lot of families, that's what it sounds like to me. This would be a great family home. This one's on Riggs Road. 139 is the price on this one. So that one's gonna be attractive to a lot of people in itself. Everything that we just talked about for under $140,000. Yeah, this will be a great buy. If you look at the square footage and the price, it really is a good price for this house. All right, 1906-940 is that MLS number and I'm assuming this is your listing? It is. It's my listing. Everyone can give me a call in the Pikeville office. That number is 606-437-2333. Okay. Now moving on to the next listing. This one's actually at Collins Highway also in Pike County. Correct. This one is right off of Collins Highway, like you said. If you're coming over the Shelby Bridge, mm -hmm. right there off 460, it's only about a half mile up Collins Highway and sits on your left. And I love this home, and one of the things you said in your email to me about this one was great starter home. Exactly. It really is. This is a, it's about a thousand square feet, but like we were talking about before we came on air, this uses the square footage very well. You never, you don't walk in this house and feel like it's a small home. Mm -hmm. They really have used open rooms. It's got a dining room. It's got a living room, a nice size kitchen, and then it's got three bedrooms and two full baths. So you have all the space that is really well laid out in this house. And if the the not having a lot of storage scares you, if there's a thousand square feet, where am I gonna put all my stuff? You have an unfinished basement mm -hmm. that is a partial basement. You access it from down below the house. You could easily turn that into some storage. You also have an oversized one car garage that is right next to the house that actually has room for two cars in it, but you can just pull one in the way that it's laid out. Right. Great storage, great workshop space. If you had a hobby, anything like that, this would be the perfect area. And all the storage you just talked about being the unfinished partial basement mm -hmm. and that garage is not included in that 1,056 square exactly. feet. So that is bonus space. Exactly. It's all bonus. A lot of things for this 1,000 square foot home 
that you would never imagine would fit inside that home. Exactly. You have a lot of space and you can tell by the pictures it's been well taken care of. She she loves her house so I hope somebody else will love it as much as she does. Well somebody is going to love it and call you to go see this house when you see that it's only $55,000. So when Jennifer talked about great starter home, it's great for a new couple, doesn't have a lot of money put back, this was just a great place to start your life. Absolutely, it really would be. All right, if somebody wanted to give you, uh, or shoot you an email on mm -hmm. this one, what's your email address? The email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right, 107121 is that MLS number. Tell that to Jennifer, she'll pull it up and get your showing scheduled. All right, moving along to this one is also on the south side of Pike County mm -hmm. in that Collie Hills. It is. This one's a Collie Hills. Again, we have discussed this one before, mm -hmm. and it's just had a price reduction. So we wanted to make sure and remind everybody about this house. It's uh, They actually reduced it down to 178 and if you're familiar with the Collie Hills area, that's a great price on this house. And this one is a popular neighborhood mm -hmm. because it sits up on the hill. Uh, you can see it from US 23 when you're driving out of the Pikeville city limits. Uh, you go over Foggy Mountain. It's not very far on your right. A lot of them have yards. They fence their yards. You can have, you know, kids on bicycles out in the street during the summer, stuff mm -hmm. like that. You're going to see that already. If you do or do not have kids, you still know. It makes you feel like it's a very safe neighborhood. The area really watches out for each other. It's a very close mix close-knit community. And on the outside, you, you mentioned it's got a good size yard and mm -hmm. you said, and it's fenced. And this one actually sits where it actually, it has a little bit of partial privacy in the back. Mm -hmm. You do not have a house directly to one side of you with the way that this lot sits. So on one side of you, you really have all the privacy in the world. And then the inside, I mean, we've got picked some great pictures of the mm -hmm. inside of this house. It shows how much space is in there. Nearly 1,700 square feet. Um, a large kitchen and three bedrooms and two bathrooms so uh, families could easily fit in this home. Yes and absolutely this is one that they also did the open concept to so all the rooms feel a lot bigger. The living rooms open to the dining area which is open to the kitchen and then the other thing they've done is they've actually done some new renovations. Mm -hmm. They've done a uh, new tile flooring, they've put in a new heating system, new exterior paint, new light fixtures, new kitchen countertop so it's one that's really move-in ready. You can you can go in, find the house of your dreams, and go ahead and get moved in, knowing that you, hopefully you won't have to do any of those big projects. And remember, this one is just reduced. So the mm -hmm. new price on this one at Collie Hills is $178,000. So hopefully that one that maybe previously wasn't in somebody's budget mm -hmm. is now. Um, and I'm assuming this is your listing also? This is the listing out of Pikeville. So again, you can give the Pikeville office a call. Mm -hmm. That number is 606-437-2333. All right, the MLS number 106366 on this one. Mm -hmm. Now let's kind of switch gears a little bit and go from residential sales to commercial sales. Now this one's in Floyd County. It is, and this is one, I really like talking about some of these commercial listings because they're so different from what we typically do on mm -hmm. the show. This one has four different structures on the property. You've got about 33, 34 acres total. Wow. You have a lot of square footage. It's over 11,000 square feet when you put all the buildings together. So it's, it's offering a whole new type of property to our viewers. I mean, and just looking at the picture, it says space. And the warehouse also has kind of a reception area where if you are doing loading and unloading, that's where you would do truck check-in, that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. You've got a couple offices in there, lots of storage. That building is about 7,500 square feet itself. And then you also have an actual office building, which is also a metal building with a brick facade. It's got about 10 offices in it, reception area, all that kind of stuff. You have an additional wow. two sheds that are actually parking sheds, and we've got pictures of those um, that we're showing, but you can see you can actually put about 10 vehicles underneath each one of those. So you have so much space, and again, that doesn't even count the 34 acres. And it's right off US 23, it's about three tenths of a mile up Daniels Creek Road at Banner. So it's a great location if you're looking to be in that Prestonsburg, Pikeville area, mm -hmm. very close to 23. So this one is listed at 350000 and on, a, on the commercial side, that's a really good deal for mm -hmm. everything you're getting on top of the fact that it's sitting on 34 acres. Absolutely. 
So is this out of the Pikeville office also? It is, but again, they can call any of our offices mm -hmm. to see any of our listings. So if okay. it's okay, we'll give the Paintsville office number. That works. That's 606-789-8119. All right, give them a call and just tell them it's the commercial listing on Banner. They'll mm -hmm. know and take you right to it. Absolutely. Now, let's end the show talking about some lease opportunities mm -hmm. that are out there. And these are all commercial leases. So but, maybe you, you don't want to buy yet. Mm -hmm. Maybe you just want to test the waters and make sure your business is going to go. We've got four quick opportunities. Absolutely. And like you said, we're going to discuss these very quickly. Mm -hmm. If anybody wants more information on these, they can give any of our four offices a call and they'll be more than happy to share information. All right. And when they pop up on your screen as they rotate, Underneath the picture will tell you which listing it is. Absolutely. So we try to do this as simply as possible. The first one that says Cedar Trace is right in Pikeville. It is directly in Pikeville, right off US 23. Mm -hmm. You don't have direct access, but it does sit between a community trust bank and US 23. It's about a thousand square feet. This would be perfect for office space or a retail space. That's what we're looking for in this general area. Now, the second one is just outside the city limits mm -hmm. on Chloe Road. Now, this one's much larger. It is. This is a 10,000 square foot metal building. It has two offices, a reception area, loading docks. The rest of it is all open warehouse space. Now, this used to be a bottled water facility, so mm -hmm. a lot of people are going to recognize it um, from the picture. As soon as you top Chloe Mountain coming back down the other side, leaving Pikeville, this is going to sit to your right. Now, the next one moving up 23 is all right on the Pike Floyd line. This is also a metal warehouse building. It is. This is actually on the back of the Shred All, Shred All property. Okay. It's not affecting their business, but it is kind of adjacent to their property. This is a 3,200 square foot metal building, fully insulated. It's a almost brand new building, secure lot with an alarm system and an alarm on the building. Now, Pikeville Mini Storage. Now, this is not the storage facility that is for rent, but a building inside that complex. Correct. This is inside the Pikeville Mini Storage Complex, which is in the city limits of Pikeville. This is about 4,000 square feet of space. It can be divided into two units or stay as one. So it can be divided however would work best for your specific office. And one thing you did want to mention, this is not going to be good for anything where you're going to need a storefront because you're not right on any kind of traffic. So accounting offices, accountants, an attorney possibly, anything like that would be great for this. Absolutely. This is going to be office space. So right. you're looking for somewhere where you need 10 to 12 offices and a lot of employees. Absolutely. Okay. Now these are commercial leases, but you guys do more mm -hmm. um, commercial leases and for sale as far as commercial things. And all of that is accessible on the Red Brenner Williams website. It Let's is. give that address. Okay. It's www.rbnw.com. All right. And all you got to do is search the listings and then there's a little drop down menu that lets you choose commercial. Absolutely. Or for residential. If one of these other listings <laughs> was something that you saw today you want to take a second look at, you can find that as well. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we've given everybody a lot to think about today, but you have one more thing to talk about, and that's your Real Estate Minute. Yeah. Are you planning to sell your home in the near future? Realtors are often asked the best way to sell your home fast. No one wants a long, drawn-out process. Right now, in our current market, the obvious answer is almost always pricing. The Eastern Kentucky market has changed and will continue to change as our area adapts to the economy. This will affect how the market will react to buyers. At this time, Eastern Kentucky has a lot of listings. This means pricing your home should include a comparative market analysis prepared by your realtor, showing what price will make your home competitive in the market. Overpricing means higher days on the market, and more time spent looking for a potential buyer. As always, the agents of Red Rhino Williams are honored to get the opportunity to work with you on selling or buying a new home. Contact any of our four offices to speak to a qualified, licensed realtor. Thank you for joining us for another Red Rhino Williams show. See you again soon.